The most visible contest in next Tuesday's primary is the race for mayor of Pittsburgh. After profiling Mayor Peduto and his three Democratic challengers, political editor John Delano has been reporting on many of the other races on the ballot. But tonight, it's back to the mayor's race and a look at the issues that separate the candidates. If you are elected mayor of Pittsburgh, what is your first priority on day one? How safe is the city of Pittsburgh? Is Pittsburgh a systemically racist city? Are you willing to pledge not to raise city taxes if you're elected mayor? Just some of the questions I asked all four candidates. On public safety, Mayor Peduto says, Pittsburgh is safer than ever because the city was among the first to start implicit bias training and de-escalation techniques with our officers. And what it's resulted in is less homicide, less violent crime, less complaints to the Citizens Police Review Board. But retired police officer Tony Moreno says the city is dangerous because police cannot do their job. The police officers are confused and they have a hard time because they're sworn to protect our citizens and to enforce the law. And the mayor has now come out and said, if you do that, I'm going to punish you. So that's part of the problem. Representative Ed Ganey sees crime is related to poverty, not the number of police. And in low income communities, particularly in some of these communities where the homicides are ha happening, public safety is not going to solve it, John. We need a public health plan. We need to deal with the trauma. We need to make sure that we're dealing with the poverty. Math tutor Mike Thompson says our crime rate is still better than most. The city of Pittsburgh is on the whole fairly safe. If you look at our neighborhood cities, uh, other Rust Belt towns like Cleveland or Detroit, you know, we do better time and again. As for the city being racist, some agreement of sorts. Systemic racism is basically an undefined term. What I do know is the policies that have been put forth in this city go against the black communities. Disparity based upon race is very real in the city of Pittsburgh, and we've sought out ways to be able to lessen it. Will it be done overnight? Of course not. We do have some institutional racism in this city, and we all know that, and that goes back way before you and I. But at the end of the day, I also have to look to the future of how do we build a city that's inclusive of all. I don't think we're more racist or systemically racist than other cities. I mean, we're very segregated. But at the same time, you know, uh, Pittsburghers at heart have an open heart. We're, we're the town of Mr. Rogers. We'll have more of my interviews with these candidates coming up in the 5 p.m. newscast on Friday. John Delano, KDKA News.